Hey guys, I'm Town Junior here, and after a very long break, I'm back with a commentary on Yesu, and I really do apologize for my uh, absence, but the road to ruin is shorter than you think. I I've been busy, and um. I, I would have, no I probably should have said something on YouTube or something, but, uh, I mean, that's in the past, so. I've been practicing Yasu a lot, and he's going to become my, my main, and for some reason, lower quarter isn't working, so I'm going to have to just do it on, uh, Windows Movie this Maker, story but, uh, is not yet finished. For this game against Renekton, I found that after playing some games against him, he's actually pretty good versus Yesu because when you dash, his W can interrupt you, and uh, he has dashes too, so he can really uh, follow you in your mobility. Right now, I. You want to gather up your Q stats, and so you can. I got to level two first, so I can pull him a bit. And usually, the jump jungler comes around. You see, Elise is at red. Jungler, jungler comes around at about three to three fifteen. So I put a ward there early, so I can see if anybody's coming. And you, against next time you always gotta watch where his fury bar is. If it's higher than 50, you gotta watch out because he can burst you down really quickly. The sword's poor. So I'm playing careful here. Had to miss that minion, else it would have took too much damage. But as you can see, now here he comes out on me. That was a very bad move. Now he had, he had to flash to get out of that. So, it's very good for me. Now I can. He's lost all these minions. And I can keep farming them. Also, one thing about Yasu is that you really wanna use your dash to the fullest potential. So, get in with your dash. Then you can Q and then dash right out, or dash, and then even if, and then use the the straight nuke Q, and then dash out for a free harass. I'm actually playing with my brother here, as you can tell. <laughs> I will not it's not very good, but uh, it's, it is what it is. And they actually have two mid for some reason. I think. There's some dispute about like, more running. I want to go mid. I didn't have all chat on, but but Ziggs is pretty good versus them. And really in this lane, the easy part. he can fight me at six pretty easily, so I gotta watch out for that. And one thing else, uh, like you saw there, you can farm really easily under tower with your dash. You shouldn't really miss any farm unless they're really blowing you hard. Like, oh. Like, um. But yeah, like there, I did it too quickly. I did not attack first. Here. <laughs> he just warded. So, my jungler can get there. And you really want to pick Yasu if your team has a knock up. If they don't, it's really hard for you to do your job. And get on the carries. Here, very good cocoon from Elise. But really, we couldn't. I might as well do, but I was wary of taking too many shots. So, here, very low. And I can bully him even more. Like that. Go in. 
that's that's why we're not as good against them. You, he can just stun you, Q, and then leave. I will that's why I think we can do against him. And now I gotta be careful here since I'm pushing up a lot, and the jungler could come come around from behind the barren pit and come and gank me. And I'm pushing up really Just hard. And <laughs> there, I tried to use a potion. Bad mistake, because I don't have a ward. So, I have no idea where the jungle is. As a rule, you never want to let somebody auto attack you without you auto attacking them. Because then they're just getting free harass on you. I'm not sure if Yesu's wind ball blocks Renekton's E or his Q. That was a bad ignite by him. That got me low. So, it's gonna go back, and I should have, but I stop it. I, as you can see, I have no wards. So that's dangerous. And he can just keep pushing me back. So, I really should have left here. There I am, the again. And I will not you can get harassed on them out of range if you uh, EQ like and then because the radius is farther than it ranges and quickly E out. I've never had a situation where I don't go Doran's Blade because really he's actually for a melee carry, he's actually pretty dang strong early game, and so it gives you really good sustain. And I don't know who I would. It's just death. I haven't um, been this situation. I can't hear. Your extends a bit, but I missed mine. I will follow this. And he used in power. He used in power. W on me. And he managed to kill me. Burn most of my summoners. Uh, came up kinda even, except at least pushes the lane and he missed all that farm, so that's good. The road to ruin is shorter than you think. I I was saying to my team, or I don't know if I was saying it here, but if we just wait till late game we can we have a better late game um, with two mid Katarina's really good late game Just and Ari's okay but with two mid they don't get um, all the farms so both of them are gonna be kinda weak unless they, they just really roam a lot and get fed which they aren't doing so Really, we have a strong late game. I outscale Renekton. Uh, their jungler is Hakrim, I think. Um, Hakrim outscales Elise, but Elise does have good utility. Here he comes. I had a ward, but I didn't go fast enough. Try to put up my wood wall. And here. They get. I could actually kill them. I I misplayed very badly. So embarrassing. I I couldn't. Um. And then this is probably the worst part of the game. Oh my gosh! I finished all so hard. So I didn't account for his alt. I thought his alt was. I didn't even think about it. I guess. And so I got baited. I died. If he didn't, I could just EQ'd, maybe auto attack once, kill them, and then 
E'd back to a minion, and then if he chased, I could probably kill him too with another EQ once he gets back up. But so that sucks. I was ahead, but now he's got a kill on me. I think I'm still beating him in minions by like 10, so that's good. But I gotta play careful here. I'll eventually be able to fight him once I get my uh, static shiv. I should be able to fight him once I get static shiv, but I'm pretty weak right now. I got tier 2 boots, so can't really fight him. He is brutalizing, so yeah. That's a pretty word. If I were this Renekton, I play Renekton 2, I would be actually more aggressive on me. Is no more than he um, is sort of just taking my poke with his Q. Every time I Q him, he could at least Q me. Although I do have my shield, but he could... See, that's good. He can actually do more damage than me. But... And he, used, he needs to use more of his... He needs to chain his auto attack. See, he can fight me easy. That's good. I do have sustain. So I'm just trying to sustain here with my Qs. Reactant can gap close faster than me and longer. Uh, so... I gotta be wary of that. There. He has his ult, but it's not enough. He, he didn't have any ward, so that was just an easy kill there. So now I'm getting back. And really, you always got to be careful of Yesu when he's got his Q up. His, his ability to burst you down with that is actually pretty dang high. It does quite a bit of damage and people underestimate it. Plus, plus another, uh, then you can dash and then auto attack Q for like, that's like 600 damage, level 6. But, but, uh, yeah, if I ask my retired brother, but he tries to. Just <laughs> talk Spanish. This blade never gets any lighter. I don't know what I'm trying to tell my team here. Just oh, I think. As you can see, I, I could easily, I could easily be winning this lane if I hadn't died those two times. I could have been, but if, he has a little bit of advantage on me. But I'm, we're actually pretty close. Um, my ability to poke him is pretty good. Like that. That was a really good trade. That's what you want to do. Got go in, get out fast. Put a ward there. I should actually be putting a ward in that tri bush. Um, at low levels, most junglers usually don't think think of going that way. So. Maybe think it's too dangerous, which it is, but most people don't really ward. So that's actually a really good path up from behind the Baron pit around there. But I guess he doesn't think that. <clears throat> I should actually be freezing the lane right now, which I kind of am doing. But as you can see, I didn't react fast enough, and I'm dead here. He's got red buff. I should actually put my ward. It didn't occur to me. I don't know why. I should just put my ward farther in because Hecarim can come so fast that even if you see him, it's too late. Especially with his alt. So now, bot lane's getting crushed. 
and it's it's two v one. Ah, my brother told me this blitz didn't really know what he was doing, but uh, and the build you want to go on Yasu is well, you start out um, Doran's blade pot and ward trinket. Then you want to go for Vampire Acceptor for sustain, and that should be enough to sustain really against any lane as long as you have a gear of uh, death or something. And then you're gonna usually want to go, I like going tier 2 boots next, so you can really get around the, around the minions and uh, get out fast and stuff. And then usually you're gonna want to actually. Whole, uh, go for Z like I did. Um, actually, in every case, I'd say, because if you go for um, Avarice Blade, you'll be very weak, and it doesn't actually actually give you very very much extra gold. It's not really worth it. If you kill like 50 minions with it, it'll give you 100 more gold more than a pot. Not really worth it for being weak that long where you can get uh, way more kills and stuff and not get zoned out on is in the heart. Uh -huh. so right there I saw him I put my ward there and Elise thinks we can fight I'm hesitant about this but uh so I but now they're all here But she's dead. Nothing I can do there. But now, oh, Ziggs played it really smart. Then he came, and we're able to. As you see, we're not trying to turn it on there. He, if he hadn't, he wouldn't have died. I don't think the cocoon wouldn't have hit him. He got away. Should have known that Blitz was coming. So that was really, really good for us. That basically turned around the game right there. I got two kills, I think, and Ziggs got gold. So I'm actually doing pretty well right now in terms of gold. I think I have some of the most minions. Try to get down this tower, we don't have enough minions. And really. You want to always get down a tower, there's no reason not to anymore. Take it down as fast as you can. Now I can get my static shiv. And... I don't know what I'm trying to do. Then I go for infinity edge. You always want to do that. I infinity edge makes you do so much damage. Gives you um I forgot to say my runes. My runes I do four critical chance marks. So that gives me two point eight critical chance in the early game. Cause doubled. That's that's really good. It actually you can get some really good crits off. I've gotten yeah, in the in the lane. And that can totally just bully your lane opponent out. And then five AD reds, um, armor yellows, um, attack damage quins. You don't get life steal or anything. If it, it would work, I guess, but you don't really need it. Uh, with the Doran's Blade start. It'd be better just to get more AD. And so... And then for, uh, blues... You get... Either... Flat or Scaling Magic Resist, depending on the lane. Usually it's gonna be Scaling. Unless you have a, uh... AP ladder. Here I was looking bottom lane. As you can see they came on me. And I got destroyed. 
I so I basically lost my lead there. Um, I would not surrender here. I don't know. We're we're behind, but not really that much. And really, we have a we have a far better late game. So um, we really shouldn't surrender here. We've only lost. Or we've lost out of all of our outer turrets. That's not that bad. Never could stay in one place. At 21 minutes, considering you want to surrender, no. So Elise is doing well too. She's really tanky. If I, my goal is to gonna is gonna in team fights is gonna be to kill Sivir as fast as possible. I'm gonna try to either get. Oh, I'll come back to that later. So here, Redaktan is just out of position, no wards. He shouldn't be doing that quickly with no wards. You always want to have, pre preferably, two wards when split pushing. Plus your trigger, so... Just... I mean... I remember to place your wards. I see P... Uh, like right now, I should just place my wards. There's no reason to really hang on to it. Save it or something. I'm I'm actually guilty of that a lot. Like, just place my ward either by blue. Or I think I do place it by blue. So right now, I can actually like that. I can actually split push because I know Renekton was dead, and that was actually sort of a waste. I should have probably put one in that. A little bush by Baron, so I could see when they're coming. But I guess I'm just backing off anyway. I can get my BF, which makes which Skyrock is my damage because I'm quitting like 50% by now. Sivir again has no wards. She should probably know by that terrible Zinzalt that we're coming. I don't know why I ulted. Um. I guess she backs up anyway. And a really important thing I learned is that you always want to ask yourself what, where is the best place I could be? Like what, how do I describe it? Um, All right, sorry about that. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. I. I will not forget who I okay, am. so I was talking about. Hey, I always wanna think about what you're doing. Like, which item is gonna do the best for me against this team? Or should I be farming the jungle now, or should I be pushing a turret? And as dumb as that sounds like common sense, actually I see even in gold, or it probably happens in everywhere, but I see it a lot. And just just thinking that to yourself, like, what should I be doing right now? Uh, how should I be spending my time, especially as a jungler, this is crucial if you're a jungler. How should I be spending my time? Should I be farming the race right now, or should I try to be ganking? Or should I be trying to think of your You always want to think of yourself. What? What am I... What should I be doing right now? How should I be best spending my time? Because that's probably one of the most crucial things here. Like right here. Uh, I'm really strong right now. Uh, really strong right now. Like I said, BF Swords, Skyrock is my damage. 10 crits. Left and right. They're pushing bot, but really me and Ziggs just killed the turret. Or at least we're pushing. Um, and they backed off, so we got more out of that. We got two kills. Like there. I'm thinking, should I recall? Some people just like, they tunnel vision, 
this story uh, is not yet my base is dying. I gotta go defend it. But really, is it what's worth it? Is it worth it to you gotta you guys think what's worth it? Where should I be spending my time? I will follow this back to the game. Yeah. Okay, now they're getting way too greedy here. Like they're way too deep in. That was good, but they should probably they should back off. They have no idea where we are. But and I'm way too strong for them. So I just flash over and kill them. And and she's way out of here. I don't know what she's gonna be one. But they should yeah, they should have got out of there sooner. Hey, they got a kill, I think, and get out. Only purpose to fall. As you can see, I'm basically, I, as you see, you're focusing the squishy, but the third item I get is Last Whisper, because really that makes you do way more damage, and, um, I Here, they try to kill me, and I got away, but he died. So we were out of position there too. It was only three of us, and they, their their whole team was there. Now. Really, we should have a ward on Baron and around it. We should be looking to either try to bait it or catch somebody out. And everyone needs to buy wards on on a team. We should have wards at least two by Baron around their blue and red. We could have we could get catches and stuff. Now we really don't want a team fight. We really want to be split pushing. I want to be split pushing. We wanna. We have pretty good defense. All right, we could be seizing a tower, but we don't wanna. We don't wanna be team fighting. They have far better team fight with Hanamina, Renekton, Hecarim. We wanna just pick off kills or me uh, split push or something. I can at least get one person down to one or two people down to come after me. That's what you're aiming to is split push. You wanna get so far ahead or er, playing a strong split push champion that they need more than one person to, to come to you. Even if it's just to chase you and then go back. Because your, your team can get damage on the turret. Here, Hakram dives after me, but he has none of his team. So I can just wear a lot of him. And she gets too close, I jump on her. And he he's still trying to fight me. His team isn't anywhere close, so I can just kill him too. They just tunnel vision Elise for some reason. And so now, we can get one of them with Blitz. Lands a hook. They try to fight me. It isn't really a good idea. He wastes all his stuff on. And then she comes back. I don't know what she's thinking. They could have both gone away. So now I'm I'm pretty fed. I can I can go into a team fight, probably kill one or two and then not die, which is really strong. Even if I don't get my health probably. Because their positioning is, has been really bad the whole game. Like, they gotta stay farther back, and Katarina hasn't really been doing her job. I'm sorry if I sound uh, nasally. I, my nose is stuffed up. But, uh, so, my Dorans and. I always get GA after this. I don't know if that's the best, but I always feel you need a defensive item after this point, that's for sure. 
either GA or Randwins. I really like GA though. It's all around. Or uh, you can, if they have a lot of CC, you can get um, Mercurial Skimitar, or at least get the. She's way out of position. She has to flash. I believe you still get it. Uh, oh yeah, she lands a nice 15 and I stab over the wall. Honor is in the heart. Now I think we could go for a baron or bait for a baron. And we don't actually know if they they could be taking it right now, for all we know. Yeah, I think I, I think she pinged it. So we She just wanted to see if they were there, so but really, I think that we can take it. Blitz is pretty tanky, and I'm, I hit Blitz like, I have 96% 90, crit chance, so I can take it down super fast. That's another good thing about Yasu, he takes it down. Look, I'm slowing it. Should dodge that, but. And you don't actually want to use your E, it actually, you actually do less damage. I basically sold that, as you can see. At least takes it down really fast, though, too. She got percent health. Very strong. Just now we have Baron. Uh, we can either opt to. I think he's way out of position, but he gets away. He's too fast. We can either opt to go back and buy here. Just you gotta always be careful with Ari. Uh, she has so much pick off poten potential, and he just wasn't careful. Now we still keep pushing because the other team as you can see their teamwork isn't the best. It's actually pretty awful um, And I feel that we can actually take them Or at least take this down which we do They they were out of position I think Hakram was easy. Oh no he is Here Hakram again He tries to he takes half his health to try to kill me when nobody's there she does no damage to me. I should have ulted her probably. I um and here I go in and I just go around. I don't know why she just did this. Here, uh Hakram tries to fight me again. I just flash away. <coughs> Sorry, I have a sick. So that fight actually turned out really well. We didn't even have five people, and we still beat them. As you can see, I'm so strong. I just killed three of them single-handedly. So, really, Hakim has to stop diving onto me unless he's got to save his ult. Um, probably for me, but I gotta... Uh, he's gotta wait until his team's actually there because he doesn't he's not doing any damage Especially with my shield He can try to zone me from the fight, but then he can try to E me away and then like alt back Into my team if he can get there But he's right now he's taking too, way too much damage right now if I were that Hecarim I would no one is promised tomorrow probably try to go for a good alt on all of us and then he can actually eat me into a wall or something or away from his teammates or alt away from his teammates at least so they can get a good charm on me or something uh again Hecarim's out of position I, he has to waste his alt so now we can push here he has no alt but my story dies again yeah I think he raised at that point and he yelled. But we can still get this. See if they can't really do anything. I pink to get back. We don't have our AD carry and we're just taking objectives by this point. This is basically their poor positioning and reaction times. Um, that was actually worth it for him to die because they didn't respond. They, I mean, they didn't respond fast enough. So their two AP carries were over there. And they had 
they had no defense on the tower without them. Justice. That's, a so that's basically who's been defending the tower. Unless you have a long range AD carry or just AD carries can defend, but it's mostly the AP carries. Um, like, if you think about the, sp the bouncing blade and the orb deception, they could really clear the waves and even be able to take the tower or just engage uh, with charm or something. Now, for my last item, I get Hydra almost always. Uh, I don't think. I think Hydra is always better than Blade of the Rune King. I mean, not Blade of the Rune King. Uh, I don't think that's a good item on him. It gives, sure, it gives attack speed, but um, it's mostly your auto attacks now. For two attack speed, but you need to, you need to stay in there. Really good pull. I kill basically two of them. Oh, uh, that was bad. I you can see this is a this is a bad team for me. That was a good all by him, though. but he should probably all be right? I'm getting huge shield, but uh, and then they just kill me. She manages to get one, I think. No, she died. That was a bad team fight, but really, what I did wrong, I could have, I could have, so I didn't kill either of them, that was a mistake, but I could have ran around and kited them more, or at least separated myself from from either of them, but I kept just standing in the same spot and, spot and fighting. So I should have really um, just kited more. Now I'm. Uh, I think we're talking about what happened. I think I'm telling my team don't give up, like, it is one bad team fight. They were all really low too, so. Follow the wind. That was almost in a low And yeah, Sue can carry super hard. Like as you can see, I'm basically killing three people in the team fight, and Ziggs, Ziggs is doing good too. But I'm basically killing both their carries and hacking them. Um, so he can really carry. And now, as you can see, I'm doing this split, so I can just split push this. He's a fantastic split pusher. Especially once you get this uh, static shiv and IE, it's every time. At this point, I'm setting up wards to try to come. I can react and get away. But I'm really looking to actually get, as you can see, Renekton, they shouldn't be up there. Only she comes down, and I didn't think she was going to stay in that push. I, uh, we didn't kill her. She had to burn it all. And now I think we're not keep coming down, but um, I'll be back. I'm not sure if I could fight. Oh, yeah. oh that this was this was like my worst for the game. I should have actually just kind of tried to kill it. Could have gone back again, and I still should be. There's no way I'm gonna get out of here. So that was super bad, but actually, that was a really good decision by our team going for Baron. We have to stand on the and so that is actually worth it, I would say. Uh, they get a tower and some damage on that, I think the next one. Okay, I'd say it's for you. Actually, he's probably a little bit in their favor. Two towers, huge at this point of the game. But they clean up her. 
and um, but yeah, they could have actually gotten the um, they could have if I had died, we, we could have defended that, and they could have gotten there because they were could have just drawn him out. Everybody flies over also and they he almost escapes, but he kills him. So I have a full build, and then I think I tell my team like I I'm max. I don't need any more minions. Just get all the get all the minions. Maybe the but I get red and we are barren, so we should push. And I'm gonna get to my team as soon as possible. That's good, they got bot. As you can see, they, their team's super slow to react. Right? My team's actually holding them off, so we can get. We get I can get a little bit. And right here. You're gonna see what actually remind me of like a pro game. Like it's just like a standout you can see. Um, so one step ahead of the past. I was trying to the splits needs to get a pull, or else. I was telling my brother, um, when the when the turret or when the minions come to the turret, you want to get a couple hits off of the turret, or at least get some damage off it. Because right now I can wooden wall, and right now they're not. They're just clearing the wave, so you can get a couple hits off. I will not forget who I am. Because this blitz isn't very good, as you can see, at landing hooks. So we really need to get some damage on this. I think the next wave is going. So this is just a standoff, and we haven't really been able to get a catch. I probably could have gone in when I hit those both, both with the Q, but I would have died for it, and my team. I mean, this is solo queue, they wouldn't have. See, I was telling you, you can pull it right now. Just go pull it. No one is promised tomorrow. Oh, dear. See, that was easy. Uh, okay. I'm going to try to kill Sivir. That's my goal. Sivir, and then Ari, and then Katarina. Katarina's probably going to jump on them anyway. Honor is in the heart. So get some damage off. Another good item on Yesu is Trinity Force. You can't use the mana or anything, but what do you, with all the spams as E and stuff, there's quite a bit of damage. Um but I don't, I think it's too expensive for what it offers. I mean, you already kill people fast enough, and by the time you get that, I think it offers a little bit of takiness, but I think it's the best build. And I've seen, like, pros using stuff, so I'd say. I think I saw them get bloodthirsted, but I think it's kind of interchangeable. So I already got a ton of wave clear, but I don't really get into the wave clear, I'd say. Just offers better stats, we have to build it out. This story is not yet finished. So they have they engage there, they try to engage with the toys for a bit now. But nobody can be focused in the so I can just straight havoc on them. Um that was an awful awful key, I think. 
Because you guys are flawed. You guys are good. Justice. So now the game is over. Um, I think they were focusing on Stana. Should have been focusing on me, even though I have GA. You just think it's pop it. Like, that's. What is it, two seconds before I'm up? They could kill. And they focused a least That was really bad. That's kind of what it is in Solo Ski. They just focused too early. Like, they can see. So that's GG. Sorry for my bad voice. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it.